Hey guys, uh, today we are going to see about that uh, very important topic about the discovery pattern. Uh, in the discovery pattern, we are going to see about the extend Windows OS Server pattern. Uh, Cloud Dimension is interested to extending discovery. The consultants on site recommend that it is a good practice to extend the discovery patterns to collect the new attributes to be used for the uh, some purposes like uh, reporting, supporting, uh, compliance, those kind of things. So uh, cloud dimensions need to discover the BIOS date on all Windows servers. They intend to baseline all uh, Windows servers and uh, report on any uh, any of that uh, fallout of company policy. Based on the conversation with ServiceNow, it is recommended to leverage the existing Windows OS servers, uh, the pa patterns to accomplish this uh, task. So we can, uh, we are going to uh, do that uh, with the Windows server. So let's go to the Windows server. So we do have that uh, Windows server say so yeah, let's let this uh, form can be load. So here we this is our uh, Windows server which we already discovered earlier. Now we are in the uh, Windows discovery form Windows server which we already discovered this one. So let's go to the form layout. too slow so let, let, let's name the field as bias date there is a string so we can add this we can put this bias date under asset field let me save this So we can see that uh, bias date string field. So now uh, let's create the new pattern steps. For that, uh, let me go to the Windows under under CA classification. We can go to the Windows. Open the Windows 2019 server. So here you can see about this three tabs trigger props classification criteria versions. So you can select this trigger props. So open the horizontal discovery prop horizontal pad. So you, uh, here you can see this pattern Windows OS servers. So uh, when a CA is classified as a Windows 2019 server, the horizontal discovery prop, uh, horizontal uh, pad prop uses the Windows OS servers pattern to identify and explore the CA through a series of pattern steps. So in a remainder of the uh, lab, uh, you will extend this pattern to include a step to capture and uh, populate a new BIOS date field. Okay, so let's go to the uh, discovery patterns. So let's open this uh, Windows OS servers. So this is our Windows OS servers. So here you can see the discovery right under uh, identification section. You can open this discovery. So this uh, listed our default pattern steps. 
which is used to identify the uh, windows os servers right so under uh, temporary variables you can see this computer system so if you click this one you can you can see those kind of variables right so the pattern steps and the variables are used to capture the information about ca during the uh, identification and exploration phases via discovery process so this variables can then populate fields in the table used to classify the ca in this case the windows 2019 server so let's uh, uh, any uh, if we do anything in the uh, patterns we should need to do the debug mode we should need to enable this debug mode so for the if i do that uh, debug mode let's uh, give the ip address for it so the ip address uh, of this one can be the mid servers one so the mid server ip address we can able to provide so let's open the mid server In the mid server you can see this IP address right so you can copy this IP address and uh, paste it in here let's connect this one so it will take some time so the debug uh, debug mode is can now activated debug mode is used to test the patterns here and verify the variable values again the CA prior to running the discovery so let's go back to this uh, Windows OS servers now I just uh, extend I won't uh, touch anything in the identification section of the uh, discovery I just going to create a new extend section ex extension section so let me create new so if i create a new uh, let me name this as a uh, custom steps uh, click done so under extension extensions action custom steps you can click this one So you can provide this uh, mid server IP address and uh, click the click to connect. The debug mode has been completed. So now I am going to select this. Uh, let me uh, let me uh, for the Windows discovery. I just uh, select the operation of uh, WMA query. I have selected the WMA query. Um, so uh, let's rename this one also as well so here uh, here we can able to rename it let's make uh, bios date and enter it now i just uh, do the uh, select the operation as a wma query so i just uh, click the click data now i once i select the root uh, slash camv2 uh, i i can see the tables in the table uh, here under the table so here in the table i can select the win32 let me search it so win32 related things are coming so i just select the win32 bias so let this uh, field can be run, uh, load so inside the field we can select any of the fields in inside the win32 bias so now i just select the release date
so once i select this uh, I, I should need to provide the the target table so that is called i uh, cm b underscore ci underscore win underscore server so the windows server we need so the target target table should be a windows server so the wma query operation will query for the release date value from the windows os server and populate this into a variable table called cmdb underscore ca underscore win underscore server so that we uh, so i just uh, click the new step below now i, j I am going to create a other step first we had selected the bios date let this uh, process complete yeah the process completed now i just select the operation of parse variable here we can select the windows server we are in the uh, previous step we have selected the windows server right so so we same windows server we need we should need to select in here also so here it's populated i just select this one so uh, once i retrieve it you can able to see some output right so once we retrieve it you can see those things so because the windows server and release date field has been uh, we have we have been selected so we can select the variable in here also for parse variable uh, once we do that uh, we can define the parsing like we can select the regular expression in the regular expression we can select the variable in the variable we have the table option select the table option and then uh, here you can provide the table name cm windows server so you can provide the table name and also the variable name could be u underscore that uh, we have created this uh, backend name right uh, field right that backend name we can copy it and we can paste it in here so once we enter it we can uh, have this uh, regular expression so in the regular expression that format should be need to select this is our format so once we select this one uh, the output value could be selected right to so uh, the this output is equals to the August 8, 2008. Sorry, 2006. They have denoted 2006. So the step two is needed to parse out the date value from the string. The parsed value is captured in a variable called cmdb underscore ca underscore win server dot bios uh, date as long as the variable is same as the table and the field in that is cmdb the values collected are automatically populated in the record so uh, click test and verify the bios date variable is populated correctly now so you can see it right we can close this one now click this save button to save your extension section so saved successfully click back to this window server now you can go to the mid server now
need to sync the pattern so i just go to the mid server uh, in the back end you can select this one and uh, pattern sync to mid you can select this one so the cache discovery patterns are stored on mid servers in the all ndl dictionary it is important to verify the mid server is using the latest pattern version Alternatively, for our training environment, it may be necessary to reboot the mid server uh, to force the extension section pattern exchanges to take a place immediately on the mid server. So, I just go to the discovery schedule. Here, uh, you can see this uh, My Windows Discovery. Let's check the Windows Discovery as well. So you can click the Discover now. The Discovery status has been created. Let's wait and uh, check the Windows Server should need to complete. So now the discovery got completed. Let's open this device. So now you can see this uh, BIOS date field that is automatically populated 2006024. So if this uh, value is not uh, populated, uh, you can restart the mid server and then do the discovery again. You will get this uh, auto populating of the BIOS date. So that's it today's video. We will deep dive into the discovery pattern in the upcoming classes. Thank you.